सो हेलो 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 वेलकम बैक टू अव वीडियो एंड टुडे वी आर इन हैन ओवर करेंटली आई एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ हैन ओवर हॉप वन ऑफ एंड टुडे वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग इट सो हैन ओवर इज अ सिटी इन द लोअर सेक्सनी ऑफ जर्मनी इट इज़ अ कैपिटल सिटी ऑफ लोअर सेक्सनी एंड देर आर समथिंग अराउंड वन पॉइंट वन मिलियन पीपल लिविंग and the university is very reputed we are going to visit it as well there are some other monuments as well that i am going to show you so let's start the video well the university here in hanover called leibniz university of hanover and it is also very famous it is not in tu9 or something like that but one particular thing that i found out here in in start of hanover is there are so many restaurants and so many eating places that you can choose from so there is a food court with near to the hopt one of and there are many many options so here i am in front of university of hanover a university which have something around 35000 students enrolled so yeah let's talk about uh, the programs at this university so there are two intakes here a winter intake and the summer intake and for winter intake there are two periods in which students can apply one is early application process and the other one is the regular application process and in both of them there are different programs like life science biochemistry and some teaching programs and some other programs like computer science physics chemistry and whatever you think about there are different variety of programs and i will put the link in the description as well so that you can see it and analyze it and now the question is how will you apply to different programs right so the one thing is or the one process is through uniassist or the other one is through online portal of university but most of the programs are available through uniassist so you have to apply through uniassist to you know get most of the courses like in computer science or um, you know in physics or in civil engineering and many more and um, probably you know about that on uniassist you have to pay 75 euros for the first application and after that you have to pay 30 euros for further applications or from your second application and so on but university portals are usually free but the variety of courses varies so about semester contribution you have to pay something around 395 euros it is a little bit more as compared to other universities but this is how it is at this university so you have to pay that amount which includes the student vac um fees plus your uh, semester card which includes your transport throughout the city and also for different programs there are different deadlines so literally today is the deadline for winter intake for most of the for most of the programs as i said earlier there are two processes or there are two time periods in which students can apply one is the early process period and the other one is the regular process period 
and this regular process period usually starts from the mid of june until mid of july so for one month you can apply and then you will get the result whether you got admit or not in the mid of august and this early application process starts just before that so it starts in may and ends in the mid of june and then you will get your results in the mid of july and similar process is applicable in the summer semester as well or in summer intake as well one more interesting or one more informative thing or fact about this university is you don't need this minimum grade of 2.5 to apply so if you have lesser than that then also you can apply because in most of the other university you need at least 2.5 grade and only then you are applicable or eligible to apply to different courses but this is not the case at this university in the backyard of the university there is a huge park or lawn where you can hang out with your friends or you know in between classes or after the classes and you can sit down here And now we are in front of new rat house or new town hall here in Hanover. It is outside of the city center a little bit, but it is also very nearby, just two stations away from tram. It was built in between 1901 and 1913. And why it built? Because the king of Hanover wants to build a new rat house because of the expansion of the city and because of the industrialization. So they have to expand the old rat house and that's why they built it and it looks just like any other town hall in in germany you know like castle like structure and it's as high as 100 meters This church is one of a kind, so there is no roof on the top and yeah, it was destroyed during World War II because of the bombing and now it is how it is and they are preserving it like that so that 
so that you can feel it like how cruel or how dangerous it was during that time the name of the church is Eigendeen Kirche Now it looks like I'm in a fairy tale city like these buildings old town buildings which looks really good This is the red thread line which runs over 4.2 kilometers throughout the city and leads past the 36 most important sites. Each place is given a number in a circle and so that the red thread of Hanover is always clearly visible. Hanover is not that big city and I was here only for a day there is one more castle but it is not actually in the Hanover it is 20 km away so that's why I'm not going there but this is it um this is how Hanover is so if you enjoy that video then please like it and thank you for watching till the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as i see there are only 110 subscribers till now so and i will see you in the next one